A warning this morning, the government wants transit system workers across the country to beef up security. Three terror suspects currently behind bars, but with as many as a dozen others in the crosshairs of federal authorities. CBS News Justice and Homeland Security correspondent Bob Orr joins us from Washington with more. Bob, good morning. Good morning, Harry. Well, that FBI and Homeland Security transit warning this morning grew out of still sketchy evidence that Najibullah Zazi may have been planning attacks on New York trains. Now, no plot has been confirmed, but also this morning, the New York Daily News is reporting that Zazi has now told investigators that he was a jihadist intent on carrying out mayhem. Sources say while Najibullah Zazi is at the center of a vague plot to attack New York, the FBI now is pressing an urgent search for a core group of nine to 12 other people who may also be involved. No specific targets have been identified, but sources say Zazi was intent on setting off explosives at one or more locations, and the plot may have centered on mass transit, a favorite Al Qaeda target. A cell phone video found in Zazi's possession shows scenes of Grand Central Terminal. Zazi, who denies being a terrorist, has admitted attending an Al Qaeda training camp in Pakistan, where sources say he learned how to construct homemade bombs. And officials say he has stayed in touch with his al-Qaeda partners overseas. In addition, backpacks and cell phones, like those used in the attack on Madrid trains in 2004, were found during last week's raids in Queens. And bomb-making instructions were found on Zazi's computer. While Zazi and two others now are in custody, sources tell us there is considerable concern still that the FBI has not completely disrupted any potential plot. Other key suspects are still said to be on the loose, and investigators do not yet have a full picture of what they might be up to. Harry? Everybody got to keep their eyes open. Bob Orr in Washington this morning. Thanks.